I'm gonna see if we can build a 100 unit apartment building. Thanks so much to the EA Creator Network for the early access. This is gonna be interesting. In The Sims 4 for Rent, you can turn one house into two by clicking here and clicking Create Unit. These are now two separate houses that different families of up to eight Sims can live in. But it doesn't stop there. We can keep adding new units to this lot. And we now have four distinct different houses. And not just four, we can make up to six different houses on one single lot. And this is no joke. We have six individual units. And when you move in, it actually gives you this UI of which unit you're gonna select. But don't worry, there's a cheat that we can remove that limit. We can go way above six. I don't know what the limit is, but we're gonna try and find out today. So I'm here on the old museum lot, Municipal Muses. Let's change it to a Municipal Apartments. There we go. We need to cram a bunch of units in here, <laughs> essentially. So let's, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build one unit and then we're gonna basically see what happens. I, and they're, all gonna, they're gonna be tiny homes because we need to fit a whole bunch of them. So we're gonna go, I think five wide, something like this. That's probably too long. Let me see. So I need to fit a bed and like a couch and stuff. We can fit bed and a couch there. And we need like a kitchen area. We could probably make a thin, we could probably make a four wide. I think we could do four. I never said these were gonna be luxurious, okay? We're just seeing how many we can fit. <laughs> uh, and then a bathroom would be that big. So then that means I could probably just go like this and this would be our apartment and we'll make the wall smaller. Okay, well, let's have a look. So that's good. Now let's quickly get some lights in here. Let's get some stuff. We actually have a new bed. We do have a whole new world and a bunch of new items. So I'm gonna be using some of that, but you know, I never liked this museum. So we're gonna change it. <laughs> All right, you know, we've got a nice little color scheme going on here. Now, all of these apartments are gonna look exactly the same, so keep that in mind. We do have a new kitchen set though, which is really nice. I always love a new kitchen. Let's do this, and then I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna do tiles under it. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, new mini fridge. I kind of like the kitchen being tucked away in this like little box. I don't know. We don't have a dining table, but what I'm thinking is we do, ooh, new table. We will get a new table and we will get new chair. Okay. Ooh. Maybe this should be green to match my green theme. <laughs> and then because I'm nice, I'll, if I give them a laptop, no, I'm not gonna do a laptop actually. Look, we just, <laughs> we don't actually need this to be that functional, but I want it to be. So my plan here is I'm gonna build one. I'm gonna copy paste it. Okay, as many times as we can. But when you copy paste a, a room, it'll only do the room. So then we won't have the bathroom. So I don't want to, have to do it twice. So what I'm gonna do is get like a curtain there. You know, it's not the nicest curtain, but we'll go green, you know, we'll get the theme. And then I'm just gonna remove that bit of wall. So then it's like, there's a curtain there that you can close, but this is all now just one room. Now I think we should be able to, if I put the toilet like here, I don't know, I don't think the new ones will work, the, the squat toilets, because you can see they're quite a bit bigger. So I think it would block Sims getting through. So I think if I use that one and then just like a regular sink in here, it should work. Oh yeah, I think that should work. Wow, this this is a modern masterpiece. Now windows, oh, we could use these new ones. Let's do this. Could do a couple like that. Oh wait, that's not. <laughs> That's not remotely centered. You can do three windows like that. There you go. Because I guess they're only gonna have windows on one side because we're gonna have a front door here, which has to be a single tile door. I don't think any of the new doors are single tile. No, they're all bigger. All right, so we'll just do this door. Okay, so th this is our apartment, okay? Now let's just test if I clone it and put it there. Great, that works. It brings the bathroom, brings everything with it. Oh, they don't have a bin. I guess we'll have to go here by the door. I think should work. I don't know. Suppose I should play, you know what? I might have to play test this. All right, let's just cook some food. Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, we can get to the fridge and I don't think the bin is blocking us, so that's a good sign. All righty, that's good. Now if I say clean up, go to the bin and go to the sink. All right, well, that's good. I mean, the, everything else should work. To, oh, actually, I should test the bathroom. I didn't test that. Toilet works, sink works. Okay, cool, that's all good. First of all, I kind of want it to at least match in with the world, you know? Let's see how many of these we can get, I suppose. Let me get rid of that mailbox for a second. Wait, hang on, can I do something like this where we have like a balcony on the outside? Cause that actually might be very nice. You know, this may be a horrible Sims experiment, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to make it nice. All right, let me, I'm gonna start cloning. You know what, I'm gonna make this one Blue. All right, so we've got a blue apartment and green apartment. And then I think I'll just alternate. That, that's kind of my idea. All right, so how many can we fit? I'm just gonna leave a gap because I'll fill it with the blue one in a second. Oh my gosh. All right, so we've got nine across the back there. Okay. And then I'm gonna need room, hang on. I got, we gotta figure this out because we need room for access. 
So how, how deep are these? Seven, okay. So we could do three rows like this. Because what I'm thinking, because we need windows, obviously uh, they'll have doors on one side and windows on the other. So if we have windows facing inward here, we could do like, I don't know, some, oh, maybe we should we could just do like a wall, you know, privacy. We have it like that. There's like a, you know, there's a wall between them. So this will be like a main walkway. So we'll have like doors to the apartments there. And then I guess on the front of the building, we'll have some here too. Maybe we could do like front little courtyards for each of them. Ooh, that'd be nice. Like this kind of, not courtyards, but like a little walkway like that. Okay. We're getting somewhere. All right, let me let me fill all these in. <laughs> that actually worked very well. So now we have 18. Whether these can actually all be apartments or not, I don't know, but we'll find out. Let me do this set as well. And then I'm gonna, we gotta figure out the layout and then if we can do another level <laughs> and then see if this works. All righty, that's looking good. So I like the, the sort of curve element they've got going there. Can we fit that? Can I fit a curve here maybe? <laughs> Hang on. Alrighty. All right, we've got floor all the way around. A little bit of a curve here. I can't really fit a curve on any other corners, but this guy doesn't have it either, so that's fine. But what I can now do, because this is all one big piece, is I can go drag the middle. I think that's good. That's one step. One step is fine. We don't need stairs, so Sims can get up that. Before I go any further and build a second floor and make this look, you know, more like a building, uh, should we see if we can turn these into apartments? Because that's kind of important. <laughs> oh my gosh. This lot already costs 304,000 simoleons. All right, so residential rental. All right, that's great. Now we're just going to go here. We're going to say shared. We're going to turn it into the first unit, second unit, third unit, fourth unit, fifth unit, sixth unit. Now we run into problems. You can see here residential rentals can have six units maximum. But we enter the cheat. BB dot increase rental unit cap on updated rental unit cap. Now, what does that increase it to? I can make another one and another one and another one. <laughs> Give me a sec. And 27. <laughs> I do like the colors it makes. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> now, obviously you can see at this point, and you know, when you're building even with six, the outlines are good when you're trying to figure it out, but you can turn them off up the top here by clicking that, so. This goes back to normal. And while we're here, every single unit has its own settings. So you can see, we can actually set how many beds and baths there are in each unit. We can see how many tiles are, how much each individual unit costs. So not only can you do that for every single unit, but you can also go here per unit, set your own traits on every single unit, your own challenges on each unit. They're all individual and it's actually really cool. So what you can do is you can actually turn off certain apartments. So because this lot is so big, if I go through and do this, check this out. Look, all the items in each apartment disappears. They're obviously still there, but it just sort of unloads those assets. So it can make the whole lot run a lot better when you're building anyway, a giant place. So I've deloaded all of those except for the first two because I only need the green and the blue. All right, let's go to the second floor and uh, start cloning. All right, we have a whole second floor. Uh, let's see if I can now <laughs> add them all as units as well. So this one here, you can see it's actually become part of number one because it was cloned from number one. That's my bad, I messed that up. But I can just go down to the bottom, click create unit and it'll actually separate this into its own. There you go, number 28. So I'm just gonna go through and do that. All right, we're up to 54 <laughs> at the moment. Oh my gosh, look at this place, all right. So, so far we have not hit a limit. I, I will say though, everything I'm doing now is very slow. So check this out. If I grab, uh, I'm gonna grab blue this time. Put it here. And any second now it will come in. And three, two, one. There it is. <laughs> and then if I make this a new apartment as well, we go create unit. Three, two, one. One, there you go. So it's a lot slower than when you're doing six, but you know, it's working. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna keep going. Um, I'll do I'll do the next level. I'm gonna do this level now. Hitting 80 units now, we're getting up there. This, look, this is taking longer and longer every single time. And I have to scroll this whole list. Great unit. All right, so that's the third floor of this apartment building time. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess, I guess we gotta keep going because haven't hit a limit yet. Oh. Wait, hang on. Residential units are limited to 100 per save file. Oh, okay. Well, we found the limit, but I'm only at 89. That's okay. Oh my God. This looks That's okay. We've got other apartments. Let's go get rid of them. Wonder why it's 100 per save file. Surely a modder can remove that limit because <laughs> we gotta see how far we can go. Oh my God. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll go to this. Anyway, I've got this one over here. This has six. If I get rid of those six, I can add mo six more over there. So let's go delete this lot. And of course, in the new beautiful world, there's a few uh, apartment buildings as well. There's a couple here, so we're gonna have to get rid of these. All right, both of these are back to regular residentials, which means we've opened up a bunch more units. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, oh my God, look at this list. Good Lord. Hmm, which apartment do I want to live in? Maybe this one? <laughs> oh, I loaded back in and they're all hidden again. Which, look, is good, because otherwise it is very laggy, but still. Kind of hard to keep track of stuff here. All right, where did I get up to? Okay, 88 we had. 89 we had. Okay, so it must be this one, I think, is where I got up to, is it? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Number 90, so we're going to do 100. Okay, in that case, we're not going to fill all these apartments, which is fine. So 90, so I can do a one more row and then plus one. Maybe we do one more row and then I have one big apartment for the landlord. Hmm, okay. All right. Apartment 99, slowly loading in now. There it is. All right, so we've got 99. Okay, so I'm going to turn this last section here into one big apartment, and that's where I'm going to live, and then we're going to see how many tenants we can get in this building. All right, and now for the big moment, unit... Oh, oh, hey! Oh, it, it disabled the cheat. I was like, hey! <laughs> Okay, so I gotta put the cheat back in. All right, cheat back on. Okay, now for the big moment. <laughs> hey, hang on. Now, f what the heck? <laughs> Hello? Why is my cheat not working? Okay, let me turn it off. Okay, and then turn it back on. What the heck? Dang it! I just want number one hundred. All right, let me. I'm gonna have to save this. I don't know what's happening. I can't get it. To give me the one. Really? You're gonna stop me short of one hundred? <sighs> I, uh, I reloaded the save. Let, let me try reloading the entire game. Maybe, maybe that'll work. Maybe, maybe that'll work. Uh, also, <laughs> I just realized loading back up. Rent. 4.2 billion simoleons per day. Hmm. Right, okay. <laughs> Come on, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Ah. Oh, it just will not let me do 100. Dang it. All right, fine. 99 it is. Well, let me finish the rest of this building so it actually looks like a building. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm basically going to make it look like this guy over here. That's my plan. Okay, it's somewhat looking like a building now. It is, you know, a big block of a building, but it's a building nonetheless. It costs us 1.2 million simoleons. Now, one thing you can do in apartment buildings is have a shared space. And I feel like we need somewhere for all 100 of us to hang out. So I think we can do a rooftop pool because we can't, for some reason I couldn't make this my 100th apartment. Let me just double check. One sec. No, okay, I don't know. <laughs> but what I can do is go to the next floor and put a pool on it. Oh yeah. So I can't build any walls up here because this is actually the fourth level. So I'm just using this sort of taller fence. I like it kind of set back from the edge too. And then on the side, we can we can still use half walls. We just can't use regular walls, so. Oh yeah, this is looking like a cool hangout spot now. Let's also get a hot tub. I mean, come on. <gasps> Wait, they've got a new, oh. Okay, well, you, sorry. I didn't realize I had a new hot tub. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, that's good. All right, then we're gonna get a barbecue. We gotta have a, a barbecue up here. Ooh, new barbecue. I kind of want this one though. It feels a little bit more like robust. And then we need some tables, of course, dining. Oh, we need lounges, yes. Here we go, we got the electricity panel up here too. <laughs> For the apartment. It's up on the roof by the pool. Oh, I might need a water heater too. I'll, I'll just put it in this room here. This, this is just a, such a random room. Don't worry about it. And then I need, and we do need stairs to get to the roof. So I suppose we could actually just do it above these existing stairs. All right, so we've got our rooftop. We've got access up here. We've got a sweet pool, a lounges, a barbecue, a hot, oh, we need music. And the good news is because this is just base game and for rent, there's no weather. So we can just put a regular stereo out here. Let's get some sweet beats. There you go, get that over there. 1.225 million dollars. Should we see if we can live here? <laughs> All right, I got my randomly generated sim here. We're gonna use them. Uh, oh, actually, so I believe we need to live somewhere else first because we actually want to purchase the building. We want to be the landlord. So let's go get a regular home first. Yeah, so then we're gonna say buy residential rental. Here we go. Wait, what? How? <laughs> wait, now it's 5.8 million, what happened? Uh, wait, unfurnished is 4.895 million? Okay, something's not adding up here. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, nine, 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 and enter. 
Yeah! <laughs> now let's play the residential. Oh, thank God. I'll still have $4.1 million left if I get this furnished. Phew! <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I guess we're, we're good to go, right? Why am I in build mode? I don't know. Wait a second, it says I have 100 units. Wait, are we missing a number? Hold up. No, I literally just counted them all. There's only 99. But maybe it counts like the shared space as a unit. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. All right, so now the next thing, I don't know if you can see, but we have 99 uh, apartments to fill. So the way this works is we click on fill vacancy. We can actually specify how much rent we want to charge. It does give us a maximum depending on our unit rating, how big it is, how many rooms, all that kind of stuff. But we, within that, we can actually charge as much as we want. We can also charge zero so we can give it away for free, but I'm just going to leave it as the default. And we can also change the, the lease length, which is pretty cool from one day I believe just up to $9.99 and it lets us do that. You can also set unit rules. Uh, so you can say maximum, I believe that's of three Sims, no loud noises, no ghosts. And I believe if you have cats and dogs, there's also a no pets rule. I'm not sure if there's any other rules, but um, this is what we have at the moment. Uh, so we do this and then we have to manually select who's going to live here. Now, I don't know how, if we're going to get 99 people living. We might have to make a bunch of Sims, but we'll see. Robertson, you're in. Welcome. All right, I'm gonna go through and do as many as I can. I believe they did say every time you click to go to this page, it actually generates new Sims. So in theory, this could actually be painless. I don't wanna to speak too soon though. <laughs> well, I got to eight and now uh, <laughs> I seem to have run into a problem of them wanting more beds and none of my units have more beds. So hmm. here's the other thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> our rental income is 223 a day. Pretty good. Pretty good. But our tax is 5,000 a day. Ooh. Right, I'm going to need to get some more Sims in here somehow. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to see if I make some more Sims, if they'll come in. Actually, what if I just go like get the land grab household, for example. I did a split and merge. All right. And then what if I just manually move them in like this, right? So, oh my gosh, look at this. All these households right there. Like if I just say manually move Malcolm here, right? Does that work? Like if I now go here, go back to my household. This is good. This is good experimentation for when we want to <laughs> have a hundred departments. So, okay, let me have a look. Now that we've, oh yes, land grab. Okay. So I can just do it from the map. If they're not appearing here, which actually I wonder now, that I have Nancy and um, all that in here. No, I've got different families. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna start filling up. I'm gonna keep going. You know, what I think they said about this screen is that there will always be tenants available, but I don't think they meant like there weren't, that won't always be tenants that fit your exact apartment. So this list should never be empty as I think what they're saying. So there'll always be someone to pick, but you will just have to meet their needs. So I, I think that's, that's what we've got. All right, well, I'm gonna have to go back to the, oh my gosh, back to the map and fill this up. About like an hour later, I've gone through literally every unit. They all have households in them. All of them are single sim, well not single sims, they're individual sims, I should say. Some of them are families such as somewhere down here. There we go, we've got the Calientes, uh, Lothario, uh, there's Katrina. The goth family is in here as well. Pretty much every single NPC lives in this one building. There's no one else anywhere else in my game. Every other lot is empty and deserted. The entire world lives here. So should we see what happens when we play it? Ooh, we're up on the roof already. Let's go. Got one of my neighbors over here. Jazz McPhierce. Oh my gosh, that is such a cool name. So here's the thing. Oh my gosh, really? That's all we're making? We're only making 2,979 from literally everyone in the world. And that doesn't even cover our tax. <laughs> we're not even making money on this thing, but look at all these people living here. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's see how long it is until something goes wrong. Because as a landlord, you do have to either call maintenance or go do it yourself. Now, I don't have any mods. I wish I did because even though there's a hundred units here and a hundred Sims living here, only 20 Sims can be in the area at a time. Uh, so we'll never see more than that. But it is pretty cool that we have a bunch of Sims sort of walking around. Like this guy's just left the rooftop. We might see other people coming in and out of their apartments. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. So how do I, you know what we gotta do? We gotta do a pool party then, right? Isn't that anything we can do? Here we go, the pool party. Let's do this, absolutely. Uh, who's invited? I mean, oh, I don't know anyone. 
I just kind of assumed the building could come by. <laughs> what about the potluck? Do I, do I, potluck, okay, I, I don't know anyone. All right, I might have to meet some people first. Oh, I know them, they're all in here, look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. I guess I, I know them because they're all my tenants. Oh, hey man. Spy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spy on you. I don't appreciate being spied on, excuse me. <laughs> well, why are I got binoculars like behind you? What are you doing? Hey man, I should probably go say hi though. Hang on, there's someone here. Oh, this is actually so cool. I love seeing people wandering around. They're just like wandering around the halls. Oh, look at this. We got a little group up here now. Okay. Yeah. Liberty Lee, welcome. Okay, just kind of interest. I do need to talk to Liberty. So with the communal shared areas, Sims are drawn to use these items if if it's in a shared area. So like the hot tub, the barbecue, the pool, the Sims are drawn to use it. That's why we've got a bunch of people hanging out up here, which is actually pretty sweet. So we do a pool party now. Okay, I do know these guys. So I do need to get a f I, Yeah, I'm gonna go continue that cooking. Maybe I'll get some food. Maybe some more people will show up. Oh, we got a welcome wagon. Thanks, guys. Oh, hang on. <laughs> My house is all the way down. <laughs> My house is four flights down at the front. Oh, Mortimer's here. Oh, my look at all these people down here. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you know what? I I did realize I forgot to do. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, bins for the entire block. One of the other things I obviously forgot was the mailbox. Uh, is this enough? How many are in here? There's only what thirty six. So we're gonna need a few of these. <laughs> Don't actually need more than one, but there we go. That should be enough. And I guess bin wise, I didn't actually do any outdoor bins anywhere. Uh, I also don't really have room to place them because the way I built this thing. Yeah, why don't I just put it in between the apartments here? Here guys, here's some bins. I suppose it would have been good if they added uh, more garbage chutes in this pack because we have some in the other packs, but uh, this pack does not have it. Hey guys, just wait, I gotta, I gotta come downstairs. Oh gosh, I'm coming. Oh wait, no, I guess I'm not. I, I gave up. Hang on, sorry. I'm coming. <laughs> I'M COMING DOWN! <laughs> hey guys, sorry about that. I was just up on the rooftop pool. Yep, welcome to the world's apartment. That's right, everybody in the game lives here. I mean, in the real world lives here. The entire sim land. All right, neighbors are invited in. Yeah, do, we can go to the rooftop if you guys want. Right, I'm gonna say hi to everyone. Hey, Bella. How are you guys liking the new building? Yeah, you, you liking it? Um, can, can we can we maybe go upstairs or something? Oh, rental. Unjustly have like blame tenants. Ask about rental conditions. So what do you guys think of the building? It did take me a while to build and I kind of need to put your rent up if that's cool. <laughs> I'm not making enough. Come on, everybody. Let's go to the pool. Oh yeah, here we go. You want to all get in the hot tub together? Let's get in together. That'll be sweet. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go. That's a cool tattoo, actually. Nice. All right. Do I know everyone here? Because I don't. I need to know you. I just need to make sure I can invite you all to my party. <gasps> Malcolm Landgrab's here. Oh, Katrina! Spy! Get out of those binoculars. Let's go. <laughs> this is such a weird scene. Just all these base game townies just hanging out in the hot tub. Mortimer and Malcolm and Katrina's just there. Is that Bella? Bella's going for a swim in the background. Oh my god, this is so inappropriate. I'm the landlord of this entire building. Well, of the entire world, and I'm just here with my binoculars. <laughs> what have you got there? Oh, dang it. Katrina took my spot. Well, that says me reference. Oh my gosh, there's actually so many people here. I'm actually kind of surprised that there's so many Sims here right now. Well, I might as well get some food. Uh, it is free. And then I guess I, I hopefully know enough people now just from hanging out. Well, it's the next day because, you know, it was getting late. So I didn't want to do a pool party. And I got to say, even though in build mode, this is incredibly laggy. The fact that, you know, we, we can't see all the apartments makes actually playing on a lot of this scale, totally fine. Like, I'm not having any issues in gameplay. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny just watching my sim walking around the edge of the building. So yeah, I'm actually really excited to, in this case, not, look, I, I don't recommend doing a 100 unit apartment building like this because it is very laggy in build mode. And obviously these are all just copy pasted. If these were all different and like bigger or whatever, it might be even harder to build. But I think, you know, realistically building an apartment with like 10 units, for example, like a pretty big building, multi-bedroom apartments, all that. They actually feel like it's pretty possible and it actually wouldn't be too bad. Should we go uh, do some inspections on our hot water and our 
one tiny electric panel for this 100 unit building. Everything seems to be in order here. Yes, looks good. Uh, yes, the one wire coming in should be enough for the entire building. All right, let's check the hot water. Oh my God. Imagine if this was the hot water tank for <laughs> this many people. That would be so sad. Hey Mortimer, what's going on? You got a book? That's cool. You just hanging out? Let me spy on him, see what he's up to. Hmm, let me walk as close as I can so I can use my binoculars. Here we are, yes. <laughs> I don't know, I find that so funny. Like, you could have literally just stayed in your apartment and like cracked the door and had a look. But no, you're just gonna literally walk in front of him. I think he can see you. I'm just saying. Should we see what's happening in my neighbors? Actually, where does Mortimer live? I think he's in one. Oh wait, no, Katrina. Is Katrina in this one? Oh, it's real. I wish it told me who was in it. Is it? No, oh, don't do that. No, no. I think she's in this one. Let's break in, see if we can find some secrets. Hello, it's me, your friendly landlord. What's that? No one's home? All right, I'll uh, let myself in. I have the spare key. It's right here. Yeah, that's the key. It just goes in this way, like that. <laughs> Okay, this key's not, it's a little big. Oh, there we go. Alrighty, yep, like I said, I got it. <laughs> so who, I don't know whose apartment this is. All right, so when you're snooping around, you can click on stuff like the bed. Maybe they can, no, not the couch. If they have bookcases, you can snoop in those. Not everything you can snoop in. Maybe the fridge? No. Sink? No. Mirror? Uh, it only looks like the bed, but yeah, if they have like bookcases and stuff and like dresses and that, you can snoop in. Alrighty, what do we have? What are you hiding in here? First of all, who's even living in here? I don't know whose apartment this is. Oh, I'm in Dina's apartment. <laughs> uh, Tatum has discovered that Dina has this secret. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Oh yeah, so this is cool. So they have like a new secrets category in their profiles. Okay, wait, what is this? Fire is such a powerful thing. It grants us the ability to create delicious foods. <laughs> so Dina's secret is sometimes she wishes the stuff would catch on fire when she's cooking. So just saying. <laughs> All right, let's get back home. Whoa, hello. Hey guys, I was, I was just coming home. Is everyone here? <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, what? Hold up, hold up. Tenant revolt. Your time has come. The cal Caliente? What did I ever do to you? Oh, yeah, like a few seconds ago, I, I, I snooped in there. So the tenant revolt, your time has come. The Caliente house out on 23 municipal muses has endured bad living conditions for far too long. And it appears they are on the brink of staging a revolt. Try sending a conciliatory letter via the mail or visit the unit promptly to address their concerns. So I'm curious, is 23 the one I literally visited? Uh, I kind of wish it told me which unit it was. Like when you click on the door. So it's the Caliente, oh my God. The Caliente is in number 23. Okay, hang on, Caliente. Uh, 23, okay, so let's, we can click here and travel to it. So whose is it? Oh no, this is, no, I broke into this one before. Oh, I can eavesdrop. You know what, I want to do a little eavesdrop. There's no one in there, but I'm gonna eavesdrop to see what's going on. I'm pretty sure, it must be Katrina's, right? Promise better conditions for your tenants. Call your property owner and ask for better conditions. Wait, what? I am the property owner. Oh, uh. What's that? Uh, hey guys. What's, what's going on? Pro promise, oh sorry, I can say promise better conditions. Okay, so it's yes. not, well, I'm gonna be honest with the can To me, what's wrong with the conditions? I mean, you've got a nice studio apartment. Yes, I literally moved everyone out of their homes to move into this one building, but well, what's going on guys? You don't like it here? What, you want You want more windows or like you want like, uh, I don't know, elevators or anything? It's like, I, I, I'm doing my best here, guys. I only have so much money. You guys are only paying me 28 simoleons a day. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> All right, my efforts have been acknowledged and the community accepted your gestures of uh, conciliation. Great job, selling from your unit rating went up. Oh. Pretty good to me. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. Look, all of them have a great, wait. All of them except for this one. Why is this one not going up? All the others have like a little green arrow saying they're getting better. All right. Well, should we throw a pool party? Or maybe a potluck, let's do a potluck. Oh wait, so I've got 15 contributors to the potluck, but then not everyone has to contribute. They can just be a guest, but I want everyone to contribute. You know, it's a whole thing. All right, Uh. oh gosh. So number one, at my, we'll just do it at my place, I guess. Well, I just want it in the communal area. I don't know. I guess if I maybe just like lock my door, we'll just go to the community area. Yeah, let me just, all right, my door is locked. All righty, everybody. Let's go enjoy the potluck, eat potluck food. Well, how do I call guests to meal? All right, well, I guess we'll see how this works. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna have to unlock this because everyone's going in now. Oh, you brought a cake. Okay, can we, can we put it upstairs, please, guys? Okay, well, I guess I could grab a serving. Can I <laughs> 
Uh, you know, I thought we'd maybe like have it up here. Might be a nice area, but I guess I'll just <laughs> sit in my apartment with my food. Mmm, yummy. Hi. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> guys, guys, can we, can we go to the roof? Alrighty, everybody, come get your hot dogs. There we go. I do have to clean. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I know we have a hundred sims living in the building, but that doesn't mean we all have to be in one apartment, guys. <laughs> what are you doing in my fridge? Get out of my fridge. Oh, it's Katrina. I didn't recognize you. Of course it was Katrina. Where the heck am I? Oh my gosh, I'm going all the way upstairs. <laughs> I said, wait, did I say clean up or something? And there's a dirty plate up here maybe? Oh no, I'm just coming here to sit at the table. Okay, well, this is a much nicer place. Oh, this is good. Everyone's coming to join. Look at this. Am I clean? Oh, now I'm going to go downstairs and clean up. Awesome. All right. Hey guys, I'll be back in 20. I just got to run downstairs uh, to put this in the bin. Am I going to clean up this plate and then go back upstairs to get the other dirty dishes? Let's see. Oh gosh, here we go. Here we go. Oh no, wait, I stopped. We're good. Hey! <laughs> Bella, what are you doing? First of all, there's no door on this. Also, you live like just over here so in one of these apartments. What are you doing? All right, well, let me thank people for coming. Thanks for coming. Compliment potluck item. I don't know what you brought, but I'm sure it was great. I'm going to have a dang good potluck whether they like it or not. All right, I got to gossip with Sims now. All righty. <laughs> don't mind if I do. All right, Jeffrey, you got to have some secrets. I'm going to pry for secrets. Come on. Uh, I discovered that Jeffrey has a secret feeling bleak in Willow Creek. Ooh. He spent too much time in Willow Creek. He hates Willow Creek. Although he does live in Oasis Springs normally. So anyway, <laughs> that's pretty fun. Where am I? Oh gosh, I'm on my way upstairs again. <laughs> Come back down. Okay, that's the one downside about this lot. Well, no, there's a few downsides about this, this lot. But one of the downsides is uh, it's so big that if we're like walking up and down the stairs, it takes forever. But yeah, I, I'm honestly surprised how smooth this is playing when we're just in the one apartment. When we're in build mode, it's... Not great. But when we're just playing. All right, look, we completed potluck. All right, I'm just going to end this. We got our reward, right? Household inventory. Wait, what are we? Oh, we got this guy. Sweet. So I think if I put this up here, let's see if it's laggy. If I just go like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's actually not too bad. But I'm going to leave this video here. And I guess as it turns out, you can build an apartment with 100 units. Or I guess I can, I, I, we got to 99. I don't know what happened to the 100th. But thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. And thank you to all my members for supporting the channel. If you're not already a member, you can join now and actually get access instantly to over 50 exclusive videos. We get a new exclusive video every week. This week is going to be all about behind the scenes of the early access period we've had with The Sims 4 for rent. So if you're interested in that, you can join and check it out. But yeah, I mean, I'm honestly, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed that this works as well as it does. Yes, build mode. Build mode was a slog. It was hard to build this thing. It's not a complicated build, but the thing is in Sims 4, the more stuff you have added like this, it gets so laggy just doing anything. That's the hard bit. The gameplay was like working fine. And I think I want to try this building when we have, you know, the full game so we can use MC Command Center, increase the limit to the number of Sims that can be in the neighborhood, increase it up to 100, get everyone to show up. I mean, come on, we, we got to do that. But if you have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.